In this tutorial, we'll set up our development environment to use Spring Framework. So we'll download the jars from the Spring site and uh, we will customize our IDE in order to use those Spring jars. So I'll be using the Eclipse IDE for these tutorials. Note that I'm starting with a clean slate. I do not, I do not have any projects here. I uh, do not have any custom libraries. So we'll set up everything afresh. So I'll first create a new project, create a Java project. I'll call this Spring Demo. I will be using the Java 1.6 version and I'll press next and finish. So this is our basic Java project which uses the system library. Now what I'll do is I'll create a custom library in which I will put all the Spring jars. I have actually gone ahead and downloaded the Spring uh, distribution from the Spring site. Um, I have it over here, the Spring framework. The current release is uh, 3.0.5. Uh, this could be different depending on when you're viewing this tutorial, but uh, the way to get this is to head over to springsource.org and uh, you just download the latest stable distribution. You'll get a zip file. You extract the zip file and you'll get this uh, folder. In this folder, you have a dist folder which has all the jars that we need. So this is what we need to include in our project class path over here. So what I'll do is I'll create a new custom library so that I have all the jars in one place and I can uh, add it to as many projects as I want. I don't have to add each and every jar every time. So I'll go to the properties after right clicking on the project and I click on the Java build path. Here you have a library tab. So the only library that it has currently is the JRE system library because we have selected a Java project in Eclipse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add library button here. I will choose a user library, press next. And I do not have any user library here. I'll have to create one. So I'll click on this button to create it. I'll say new user library. I'll call this spring and press OK. So now I have the blank user library here. I need to add the jars that I need. So I will first click on add jars and uh, I will add the jars in my Spring Framework download. So again, I go to the dist folder. Here I have all the jars here. I'll add all of them. Select everything and press OK. So all my uh, Spring jars that I've downloaded are inside this library. So Spring also needs uh, Apache Commons logging. So I have actually downloaded that as well. If you do not have it, you can go to the Apache Commons website and download that. So I will need to add that jar as well. So I'll go here. I will choose the Commons logging jar. I'll say OK. So this is added as well. Now I'll click OK and now that I have this library, I will choose finish so that this library is added. So now I have my spring library added to my spring demo application and now I can write code which uses the spring functionality because all the jars have been added already.